when you're making a build on NBA 2K21, everybody has to sacrifice something in order to make their build great. And a lot of people this year elected to sacrifice interior defense and strength, but luckily I decided not to. I have a 99 post moves with 99 strength, and we're gonna test out today how good this actually is against the weakest attribute worth most people did, like I said, with 25 interior and 25 strength. And I think you guys will be amazed. So today, guys, I wanna try something out. We have a 99 overall post scoring build, a build that I've been working on for a while, so if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and drop a like. But let me show you guys what I'm talking about with this build. We've got a 99 standing dunk with 95 close shot, which is gonna help us make these hook shots, and I'll explain it here in a second. A 99 post control, very good mid-range, very good three-pointer. We didn't put anything into our playmaking. We've got good defensive stats, interior block, rebounding, and this is the biggest thing that I wanna work on today, guys. A 99 strength. Now, like I said, a lot of people this year have no interior defense. A lot of people have a 25 interior, and they have no strength. I really wanted to test this out to see if really either one of these make a difference when you're playing defense. So for our first experiment, we are going to try Hall of Fame back down Punisher with 99 strength. We've got posterizer and rise up to help us get contact dunks and to get our takeover easier. We're gonna have a hook specialist on gold and we're gonna have heat seeker on. So we should be getting our post scoring takeover fairly quickly. So for the first gameplay you guys are gonna be seeing, we're gonna be using power back downs and then we will be using advanced post moves. Power back down is exactly what it sounds like. We should be able to just shove people out of the paint very easily with this. And then advanced post moves like last year, if you have a post spin or a drop step or anything like that, we should be able to throw them out of the way. Now I wanted to test this out because like I said, I wanted to see if this really makes a difference with 99 strength. If power back downs and advanced post moves work how it should, I don't think anybody is going to be able to stop this build. Now for our shooting badges, we have Hall of Fame Fade Days and Hall of Fame Hot Shot. This should be able to give us takeover as well just by hitting fades because I believe fades counted a mid-range jump shot this year. So if we fade away, we should be able to get, you know, a little bit towards our post takeover. I haven't really tried it too much yet, so we'll be able to decide if that works today. We'll be using that. And then, of course, defensively, we've got brick wall, box, all that good stuff. I'll probably change a couple of these around here in a second. Um, we might just leave it on, to be honest, with, like how it is. But that's going to be the first gameplay, guys. The next gameplay, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the fades and all that stuff. But like I said, today, the whole entire goal is to see if 99 strength really matters in NBA 2K21. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and drop a like. Like I said, if you guys are enjoying the content, go ahead and subscribe. But without further ado, the 99 strength on the post score build. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. No, they're going to start double teaming me because after I do like the third or fourth hook shot, there's no way they don't. But like I said, I wanted to test this out just because nobody uses interior defense this year and apparently nobody uses strength. So if I have 99 strength with power back downs and Hall of Fame back down Punisher, there's like no way, no, it, like they should get no contest. So this should be interesting. All right, so let's, ch I'm actually going to check this out. I'm pretty sure this fear guy is going to be the guy guarding me. I want to see if he has like any interior or anything upgraded. He has a 73 interior defense with a 70 strength. All right, so this will be a kind of a different test. We'll see what happens here. But, you know, he still has very low defense. So it should be all right. All right, you know what they say, though. At least this guy's six foot eight. At least it's not a guy that's probably going to ISO. So they'll probably use screen, so this should be a little bit easier. But it always, like they always say, starts with a stop. I see Tony with the new drip and, you know, a little bit of a chain going on there, too. Two-way, three-level score. He's got the same build as I do, the same name. But this guy's a 76 and the guy's a 92. All right, let's go. Come on. Hopefully, these guys use screens. Like, you never see people in 2K21 next gen use screens. But I think these, this might be the first. Zigzag, typical, going baseline. Uh-huh. Ball fake. He's gonna cut in probably. Missed. Let's go. Dot to Tony. Gonna post up. Oh, look at me. Oh. I think I don't know if this is good or not. There we go. Finally. Gosh. Alright, the one difference I made was put rise up on the Hall of Fame. So and I my takeover kind of went up a good bit right there, too, just off a of dunk. Thing is, when you're dressed up as Shaq, there's no way people think you can shoot, but I can shoot if I wanted to. I just don't want to, you know. Look at that hook shot, baby. Okay, so those do count as mid range. Actually, not mid range. I think they're layups because my takeover still went up a lot for that. So we'll see. All right, let's see the 99 strength. This guy has interior upgraded. Can we shoulder charge him? Oh my gosh, yeah. And one? Dude, do you see how far I pushed him under the paint, though? And he actually has interior upgraded. That's pretty good. Now let's get the hook. Yep. All right, there. Oh my gosh, look at my takeover. Bro, I'm actually bullying this kid, too. I'm literally shoving him out of bounds. 
All right, I almost have dual takeover too. Thank you. Thank you. And there it goes. I lose all of it. You love to see it. All right, for that, you gotta get hooked. Yeah, you're getting, you're getting hooked. That's literally a, that's literally perfect timing. Okay, I think that's Heat Seeker because like my takeover went halfway there. All right, now it's time to test this again. But he is going all the way into the paint. Look at this. They're double teaming. Can't do anything about it though. He's gonna jump. Full jump. Easy. Bro, like, okay, that's cool that I'm laying that up. But like, why am I not dunking that? You know. There's nothing you can do, and I'm pushing this guy out of bounds, and he actually has interior upgraded. There's barbecue chick. Oh no, not the 76. Not the 76. Not the 76. Not the 76. All right, all right. Let's see the power back downs. Oh my gosh, they're gonna double team me too. So the first takeover that I have is power back downs, and the next one I have is advanced post move. So I should be able to spin by this guy and do everything. So I don't want to turn it over either. And we all, we just did as Tony stands right behind him. All right, well, power back down time. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. <laughs> Bro, okay. This guy has interior defense upgraded. I remind you, I think it's like a 75. So this is actually pretty solid. Now we have a lot of takeover left too. Look, he's just running out of bounds. All right, here we go. I want him to like press me all the way up here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You literally muscled him right out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> bro that's so funny that's crazy all right <sighs> don't get me wrong i did think about it oh my gosh the 99 strength is legit Let's see if i can just keep shoving him yeah look at him boom hit <laughs> oh bro that is so broken and i remind you this guy has like a 75 interior defense and some strength that's more than a majority of people have and i'm still pushing him like that that's crazy all right so for our next gameplay we're taking off back down punisher and we're taking off hook specialist we're gonna try to put on post spin technician and we're gonna have drop stepper on hall of fame and then we're gonna have heat seeker as well so we're gonna be trying to get a little bit of a traditional type of post scoring with post fades and hop shots and all the good stuff that you guys like to see but we're also going to test the 99 strength with no back down punisher and no advanced post moves or anything like that just straight post scoring just to see how 99 strength really works so like i said no power back downs we're going to be using i think i'm going to use probably post shot daggers and then advanced post moves for the second one so if i do know how to do this correctly i do believe post phase are going to help us get this if i have hot shot and then of course drop steps are going to help as well so we should be able to get takeover a whole lot easier doing this type of stuff all right so we're playing the same people but now we're going to be using a different strategy i'm going to do post fades and i took off back down punisher because i wanted to see just how like strength worked with nothing else you know infecting it so we're gonna we're about to see man this guy like i said he still has a good interior defense so it should be a good test to see how 99 strength really works we could have had ball first too but we had to hop off and the guy joined back <laughs> that kid joined back so quickly too all right now watch dom he's not expecting this dot <laughs> I, I didn't show him any of that and my takeover actually went up a pretty good amount i wanted to see if hot shot actually worked and it looked like it does i have post been technician on too so we'll see fade mm. oh yeah that's what i'm talking about Dude, I did, my, I did that drop step so early, but it's still pretty clean. Dude, this might be pretty overpowered because I don't know how post score and takeover, how you actually get it. But if you can use hot shot and you can use heat seeker to get it, that's overpowered. All right, let's do a fade. Do a fade. Shoulder charge. Fade. Let's go. You can't. You can't do that. This is my bread and butter. I don't shoulder charge and do like post hooks. So if that looked kind of sketchy before, this is my bread and butter though. Fades and hop shots. Like, come on now. It works. Okay, no back down punisher. Dude, I, I noticed a big difference using no back down Punisher, 100%. You guys saw it barely moves him out of the way at all. Yes, sir. Ooh. Oh my I'm gosh, right. that's so clean, dude. That's so clean. Oh my gosh. How are you supposed to stop this, dude? Dual post take is crazy. Yeah, because it lasts longer. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro, how are you supposed to stop that? Do you just see how he like flailed? Look at this. And the post hop shot. This is like I said, this is my bread and butter. This is how I play in the post, man. Oh wait. Give me that though. Oh dude, I thought I was gonna go dunk that. I honestly thought I was dunking that. That would have been crazy. Oh my gosh. Dude, Trusting your defense. Dude, he got that off with like 0.4. His foot was yeah. definitely out of bounds. The animation on the path, literally I, 
brought him all the way in. I know. No, buddy. He has been 100% smothered. Oh my gosh. Bro, 100% smothered layup just went in, and I've seen it all, 2K. Okay. Okay, I honestly, I honestly was not ready because I forgot the jump shots. I don't shoot on this build, but that's a beautiful thing, man. You're looking like Shaquille out here, and you can shoot three pointers. <gasps> you went up with that, Tony. There's no way we lost because of that, bro. Oh my gosh. All right, so this guy is definitely like 6'8", too, right? Like, he's not big. All right, let's spin by him. See, okay. Oh, nice. First play of the game. I lose the ball. Then he dunks on <laughs> Bro, this is, this is bad. There we go. Yep. Yep. Ha! Play some defense, my guy. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Don't jump, buddy. Stop jumping. Stop jumping, man. That's not going to help you. Stop jumping, my guy. You think at one point this guy would just sit in the paint and I could shoot a mid-range, but, you know, he might not. Look. Yes, sir. Don't jump, man. Stop jumping, man. Dude, these post spins, I will say I have a 99 post control, and I can definitely tell a huge difference with these post spins and stuff. Super. It works every single time. Like, look, look. Get out of the way, buddy. Green. <laughs> That's so cheesy, bro. I can't lie. That's so cheesy. <laughs> That's what I have to focus on. I remember Rise Up actually works well, but you have to, like, pump fake a couple times. Dude, you need to be a little bit closer. You would have got that. Yep. Green. Dand it off. All right, guys, so that's the power of 99 strength. Now, I will say this. When you're making post scores, I would definitely try to upgrade a little bit of the playmaking so you can get unpluckable. However, you guys saw in that first gameplay when I had Hall of Fame back down Punisher, it made a huge difference. 99 strength by itself is pretty solid. I didn't get to go against anybody with just the 25 interior, which actually made this a little bit better against guys that have some interior upgraded. But then again, like I said, this build is very viable just for post scoring in general. You can definitely create enough space just bumping people inside of the paint with that high strength and getting fades and hop shots off, which we displayed pretty well, I think. If you guys did enjoy the video, as always, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Check out one of these videos. But until next time, it's been your boy Dignify, and I'm out. Peace.